Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori oh, in my crazy hair. I just got done riding my bicycle. So take my headband off. I rode 22 miles this morning. Now I'm at a different trail. I usually, well, I have been riding at a trail in Heath, which is about 20 minutes from my house, 25 minutes. It's relatively flat and it's great for first time out. I'm sweating. I can feel the salt on my skin. Ugh. So it's time to step up our game, if you will. So today I rode 22 miles on the Old Tangy Trail, which starts in Westerville, Ohio, which is north of downtown. And it goes through downtown and back. If you do the whole trail, I think it's like 52 miles or something. I don't really know. I gotta have some electrolytes in here. But, um, I did not do 52 miles. I did 22 miles. So I went from Westerville. Behind me is Hill Market. It's fantastic if you're ever in the area. It's a grocery store, a little restaurant. But I went all the way downtown to the James. The hospital that we ride for to support is the James research cancer hospital at the Wexner Medical Center. There's lots of names involved. But anywho, I rode down there. I made a little video and I took a little break and then I rode back. The difference is this trail has more hills, um, which I need hill training because you can't ride all flat and then think you're going to go out and ride 50 miles because it is not all flat. So started the hill training took this weekend and now I will ride out here probably every Saturday or Sunday each week. And then I'm adding a Wednesday evening training ride through the bank I work for. They're off. They, I actually passed them this morning. Um, but they're going out kind of late in June. They don't start riding till 10. It's 11 and I'm frying and there's so many people. So next weekend I'll probably meet up with them. Plus they were only going to do like 5 or 10 miles. And I need to do more than 5 or 10 miles. So there's that. Then um, I did join the gym. I gotta go do some training over there. I gotta get on the elliptical. But right now I'm done for the day and I think I'm going to go home and take a shower or go home and go swimming in the pool after I take a shower. Um, gotta rinse all this salt off. But that's my, ooh. I was like, why won't this open? Because my bicycle is behind me. Actually, that wasn't even my bicycle. It was the air pump. Um, but I do have to go home, get my bike out of the car. I belong to a Facebook group, uh, Cycling in Columbus or Central Ohio Cycle or some, some such. And I'm forever hearing that people left are leaving their bikes in their cars and their cars are getting broken into. And um, these bikes aren't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you can get an inexpensive bike, but this, these, the bike I'm riding, I think I bought it 2002 or three, and it was like 12 or $1,300. But I bought this bike in 2002 or three, and the first major maintenance I did was this year in 2021, and I was at 13. I don't know. It's like 10 years old, 11, nine years old, something. Anywho, the first major work I've done was this year where I had it all rehauled, rehabbed. I didn't need a new chain. I didn't need new gears. I just needed new cables, uh, pedals. They cleaned it. They cleaned all the stuff. So honestly, I'm not mad. What I am going to do is eat my protein bar that is got to sit in this air conditioner for a little bit because it melted in the sun. That's the one downside to these when I take them riding is they melt. So what I am going to do is stick it in my air conditioner right here and let the cold air blow on it to firm it up a little. And I'm going to get Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee because I have earned iced coffee after I drink my electrolyte. Uh, fun fact, if you are looking for some type of an electrolyte drink, powder drink, all these sells a powder that's pretty good. I really would love to find the Gatorade Zero packets, but I have not found them anywhere around here. 
but all these cells and electrolyte powder um, it's not bad I got the berry flavor I mean they, none of them taste delicious but you because they're a little salty but I need that all right I'm gonna put this down here I'm gonna plug my phone in because for two hours I've been listening to Queen Radio on Pandora and I will bring you back when I get into something else. I gotta go home and get this bike put away and all my stuff and get a shower. Bye. Okay guys, I'm back. And I am headed to Target to look for cat food, like we do. Sister-in-law is coming. Alex, come inside, buddy. The cat is in the garage because he's a weirdo. Come on, buddy. Come on, you're not going outside. He's know what his problem is lately oh here's my magnets um trying to get my keys sister-in-law's coming today and sorry for the creepy close-up let's do this got it okay sister-in-law's coming today we're going to work on the memorial service for her mom she passed away last year but due to covid they weren't able to do the funeral and so that's what's happening so let's go to target sort of my lucky day those are all cuts those are all cuts oh they have pate well i'm gonna get these two because this is what my boys will eat that's it two of them well lucky day Everything else is pretty wiped out. This is the cat food at my store. Well, we'll be okay. We got it. We found two containers. Okay guys, I'm back from my shopping. Um, yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby. I got stuff to make some wreaths. I'm gonna make a video today, but I grabbed these wreaths that are on like the rosewood. And then I'm going to decorate them with this. I also have a Pelotonia sign. And then I got this ribbon. Isn't that so pretty? To make a bow. So that's later today. There's my tiered tray so far for summer. Then at Target, I picked up, if you have electronic stuff or glasses, these are fantastic wipes. They're a dollar. I love them. So I grabbed two more of those. I got some Philadelphia cream cheese, just a two pack. That's all I need right now. Uh, and these for when I ride my bike, these are energy waffles. They're great. And then I also picked up the chews. These are not keto friendly by any stretch of the imagination. But when I ride my bike for hours, then I need to have the fuel. Grab two Gatorade. I'm feeling a little dehydrated today after my ride yesterday. And I'm getting ready possibly to go down to the pool for a little while. So I thought I would take that. Oh, and I got these. These were in the wedding section. And they're not super tall, but they'll go great on my mantle. And they're just plain white candles. They were regularly $5. I got them for 70% off. So they were $1.50 for two of them. And this is the perfect height now that I have my TV hung. I probably won't burn them. And then I got the cats. There are two foods. And my sister-in-law is also on the hunt for the cat foods. Oh, and then I have extra greenery. This is stuff I keep year, I use year round, different spots of my house to decorate. So I grab that out to decorate for summer. So here's my shopping today, and there's my baby. Hi, Wellington. You're not gonna go outside, buddy. What's on your nose? Your nose? He's wet. Okay. Oh, stretch. Let's get some work done today. What are you doing? Huh? And yes, for those who ask, I do have toe rings. Two of them, actually. I got them in Florida. Two separate years. And I don't go to the, I just paint my own nails and I file them. There. Where are you going, baby? I gotta wipe his little nose. I think he just got a drink of water. All right, let's find your brother. Hi, butt. Alex. What's he doing, baby? Oh, what? 
What do you want? You looking for your brother? He went outside. Are you hungry? Yeah. Aw, we should ball. I don't know either. I have to go find it. All right, guys, here's my wreath I created. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, let's fix it. There we go. I love it. It's gonna bring me so much joy when I come home and see my pretty green wreath. Oh, so happy. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So easy to make and the DIY will be up on Wednesday. But it was super easy. Hot glue guys, hot glue does everything. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we get into.